Operator, your performance in the field has been pleasantly efficient thus far. Please continue to perform at a high level so that we may complete our mutual goals. I think she likes you. We need to get her off of emergency power. Her peripheral subsystems are starting to degrade. If you haven't already, you probably want to gear up. You're going to be facing tougher firewalls and armored guards from here on out, and the pea shooters you started with aren't going to cut it. You don't want to get caught without the right tools. Hey everybody, welcome back! In case you're leaving tips, thank you for them. I will read them and get to them down the line whenever I record again and I've read those, because obviously I haven't read them yet because they haven't happened yet. Looking at these missions over here, check this one out. The corporations have trillions in credits and assets, and they're too paranoid to trust it all to the banking system. The location of these vaults is a highly guarded secret, but money has a way of talking. Just be sure to bring a pass key, or you'll miss out on the best loot. Bring on the vault, get out alive. Alrighty, good. These corporate pigs make me sick. Now, international, I should mention off-camera, I did level up. With the credits we have left over, I leveled up um, International one more movement, so she's maxed out in her speed now, which is good because I figure the more she moves, the better because she has that little um, sensitivity thing with the hacking and other things like that. So I figure it's probably a little bit better on her. Plus, now that she has the combat ability too, remember, whenever she gets on knockout, she gets an additional 6 AP, so you know, she's gonna be pretty good in terms of movement. Now, we're not gonna transfer any items right now, we are looking at least one door right here, but. I would bet my bottom dollar is more than one door in his room. So really quickly with Decker, we're going to move down over to this side. Nothing, huh? And here we go. So we have door here. No door here possibly, although I'm not sold on that idea. There could be one over here or over this side. Let's go and try to find out through this side. Nope, no door at all, huh? Okay. True or... Let me just make sure. Okay, I just wanted to make sure there was like no door here in the corner that we couldn't see. So, Decker, you move over here, my friend, and you are going to be peeking. Okay. So, nothing so far. And more than likely, no door over here to see. So, yeah, we're just looking at one door, oddly enough. International, you, however, are going to start sensing some items for us. We have a hacking console over here, which we will take. We also have a demon database. I hate these guys so fucking much, man. Ugh. Oh. Remember, it could do so many different things. It could keep me from hacking certain stuff. I almost want to say, is it better to just get rid of it early? Or just wait around? I don't know, man. I'm really worried about those right here. Alrighty. So we do know for a fact that there is nothing there so far, at least, that I could see. What I'm going to do with her, though, is before we commit to anything, I'm going to move her down this side. Sense up some more items. Good. We have a camera over here, which will give me eyes into this room. We have a safe over here as well. Okay, let's start off by... Oh shit, level 2. So, already off the bat, because we're in day 3 and we're on level 3 missions, everything takes 2 um, levels to hack through, huh? Oh man. <laughs> Not exactly happy to see that, but so be it. Um, we're at 13 power. Yeah, let's go ahead. I want to see what's happening in this room. Support guard. You look like the type of dude that I can knock out, right? Yeah, I confused this guy with the um, other guard in that mission, remember, with the um, where we had to dive into that dude's mind? I thought that guy was the one he could have knocked out, but I'm pretty sure it's this guy over here. He looks really, relatively guarded over here pretty well. We don't have any weapons to knock him out. So, um, my knockout function might not exactly work anymore here. Meaning her ability to knock people out and get the extra 6 AP might be pointless now, unless I run into guys with no armor, so we'll keep that in mind. Well then, how do I want to play this? If I want to get into the safe over here, by the way, we have to go through the demon database. Not this one, no, but that one definitely. Eef. Eef, eef, eef. Alright. Deck, let's open the door. Nothing here so far, but there is another door over there and another one over here on this side, too. I would imagine this guy's route is more stationary than everything, so we'll keep that in mind, or at least I'm going to assume that's what it is. International, let's get you inside of this room. And hopefully, safe. Um, yeah, we know about the safe there. Let's get you... Man, where is the safe spot? Not much in this room looks safe to me, honestly, but I guess for now we'll just place you over here. We have a wireless scan, okay. Not really looking to go after that one. 
That's all we really can do at this point, I'm gonna say, right? Yeah. Unless I want to go and hack this right now. Do I want to do that? It seems so risky. Uh, what if it locks me out? You know what? It could lock out Incognita for a while. I can't really risk that happening right now, so we're just gonna end our turn. We're gonna see what happens here. Let's not jump ahead of anything right now. Secure level increase. Nothing else moved around. That guy's a stationary guard, as I expected. Okay. So, now we just continue going forward. We have a door here that probably leads into the room with the database itself. We have a camera over on this side. We have three doors to mess around with over here. So, International, let's actually go and go to this one. We have a wireless scan over here. It's gonna be... Is that... Hack console database? Console database. Huh. Alrighty. <clears throat> let's take a peek. Alright, we found the exit, which is good. At least one part of the puzzle is done. We know where to head to after we're done. Um, do I open the door? It's my real question. Is there something in there that I should worry about? There is another passageway over there, which more than likely, I would assume, maybe links into this room, if I had to imagine. So, that's fine. Close the door. Let's come over to this room now. Take a peek in here. And we have the console database here for sure. Reveals the location of all consoles. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Okay. So, this will tell me where the consoles are at that I can actually get power from. So, probably a good hack, I would say. But, is there... Well, I would imagine there is room for me to come in through this room and there's going to be like an exit. Unless it's that right here. You know what? Let's come over on this side. And we'll take one more peek. Luckily, with the movement that we've done with uh, with our speed upgrades, she can move a lot, which is really ideal. We could already hack this, which I will. All right, she's back up to nine power, incognita that is, and that's about it, huh? I'm really surprised by the lack of um, guard movement too. Not that I'm looking for it, but I'm just surprised we haven't seen any of it. All right, you come inside over here. Let's go ahead and take a peek. Okay, so we have the. Demon database, which is being watched by an enemy. Is that enemy a person? Is it a drone? Is it a camera? That we don't know. There's also a level 1 security door over here. Maybe level 2 at this point. Who knows? Alrighty. So, what I do know for a fact is we're not coming in through here. So, I think our route is down through this side. So, you come down over here, my friend, and that's about it. We have 9 power left over. Do I want to hack the safe? Actually, you know what? The safe is on the other side of this door, right? I could grab that and just get the fuck out. Might as well do it now. So that movement with um, Decker was kind of a bad one. Let me just move him here. Next turn, we'll try to grab whatever's in there. And that's about it. Let's end our turn. Alright, so we have a camera drone for sure. Okay. So, I mean, worries me, but not too much, you know? Decker, let's come over here really quickly. And let's just grab the safe and come back. 230 credits, I'll take it. And just close the door just to be in a safe sign. Alright. So, drone over here. I could hack it. I could have it go and inspect areas for me. There's a door here. More than likely we're heading down this door, I would imagine. Because this drone seems to probably come in and out of this area over here. Um, Decker, you can't observe this guy? I'm quite surprised. Okay. I know he's going to go back into the room, but let me just verify it. It just stops right here, huh? <clears throat> okay. So he doesn't go down too far. Either way, we're kind of stuck right now, because I don't really want to make any movement. <clears throat> That's going to get me into the room with him. I'm sorry for my throat, too, by the way. <clears throat> Not sure what's happening there. Probably just some, get some water or something. Alrighty. Um, at this point... What if we went around? No. I don't think that's the right call. I think we just end our turn and we wait. You know what? As much as uh, it pains me to do it, I'm just going to hack him. Now I'm going to hack him because I really don't want to waste my turn. I have a lot of leftover AP with my two agents right now, so I really don't want to waste this turn and have that security level go back up. So I'm just going to hack him. I'm going to go away and throw away the... Um, power here, which is unfortunate, but at least this actually did verify for me that this room over here does not connect to that, which I had an inkling that it did, but now at least this actually verifies it for a fact. So, um, we're going to have control of this drone for two turns, it seems, right? What I wanted to do is, I wanted to find out what's happening in this room. 
Oh, it's a camera. Yeah, it's got to be a camera then. Okay. So that's a camera, another person. Good to know. We're going in here. So what I'm going to do with the drone is... Uh, might, might as well just bring him out over here. Oh, we do have a guard too. This guy does not seem to be guarded though. So I can knock him out still. Now. What is your patrol? If you have a patrol at all. That I don't know. What I do know is that I'm bringing the camera drone in here. Okay. Oh, now we can observe the patrol with Decker. Let's actually do that. Stationary. I figured as much, but I just wanted to make sure. Alrighty, so if he's stationary, that's fine. He's not going to come over here and take a peek at us, which is ideal. Um, International, let's start moving you over here. It's going to cost me a few AP, which is expected. So let's get you over on this side. You should be safe. Excellent. Let's go ahead and take a peek. And here is the secondary server terminal. Capture this device. And the mainframe, capture the device to unlock it. Alright. And we have another safe over here. Obviously it's going to require a lot of power, which we don't have right now. Although, she'll be able to get some power when she comes into this room because there's a few terminals over here to grab. So, is it safe in here? I... I hope so. Let's go ahead and open the door. Uh, for now it looks safe. Do I risk it by having her come inside? I guess I will. Alrighty. So, for the most part she should be safe over here unless somebody walks in through that door. We'll grab this for some extra power. We got an extra plus four, which is ideal. Now it gives me a chance to actually... This camera is still offline. More than likely, after it hits level one, it's going to come online, though. Let's go ahead and... Let's grab the secondary terminal over here. Okay. So we can operate this over here ourselves now, if we wanted to. And there's a door to run behind this guy if we wanted to knock him out for any instance. Which, you know, it wouldn't be the bad thing to do with International because it'll give her 6 AP. So if we have to kind of run through there, we can knock him out and get an additional AP out of it. Alrighty, Decker, you're going to follow suit. You should be safe over here, my friend, because there should be no guards coming through here. Should have probably closed that door, but okay. And with her, I'm going to move her here. I think we're still safe. Let's end our turn and see what happens here. Okay, nothing. Perfect. So far, so good. Now... Um, Decker, I need you to come inside for sure, and then we're going to definitely close this door now. We don't want to alert that drone once we lose control of it. So, close the door. Drone, you could hang out there for sure, yeah. But what I'm thinking you do is actually just come and... Oh, no, hang out over here, just in case you go offline. You could actually even close that door for us. Perfect. <laughs> I like it. Alright. Decker. Decker, Decker, Decker. Let's move into Genesis now first, just to get some of these hacks over here happening. So we'll grab this for six power, really, really good. This camera's still offline. Not sure what's happening over here, so I'm going to come over here and take a peek. Another safe, it seems. Let's go ahead and peek around. Nothing. That's about it here, huh? <clears throat> so, we have this room over here. Alrighty, Deck, are you going to be the one that probably goes after that one? More than likely. And I think I'm going to go with International. Oh, level 3 save. It's going to require 6 power, huh? Well, look at it this way. If we hack it right now, we need some power left over for this camera, though. Keep that in mind. Shit. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and do it now. Let's assume that because it's a level 3 one, it's going to have something good in it. So, for now, you might as well just come over here. <clears throat> You'll be fine regardless over here. Now, Decker. I want to find out what's happening with this console over here. But I also want to take a peek into what's happening there too. Let's bring him over here for now. And... Use this up. So, <clears throat> over here we have... All programs, all programs guaranteed 100% bug free. Only breaks firewalls exactly equal to 3 strength. Ooh, a lot of the things are level 3 strength, especially after the um, security level goes back up. And we also have this one, which is um, Oracle. Take over a random camera on the level. Mm. Could be useful, but also really gambly. I like Wrench 3, to be honest with you. 600, which is exactly what we have right now. Is it worth it? I'm going to say yes. <clears throat> now what this does, it's literally just a program for incognito to use. So 
She could also get some upgrades in a sense too. But I like this range 3 because we're going to be dealing with a lot of level 3 stuff going forward. So I could see that being really useful. So yeah, we used up all of our credits, which is unfortunate, but so be. We could sell Power Drip or Lockpick, but let's be honest here, we're not going to fucking do that. So that's good. We got a few... A good program, I'm going to say, for Incognita here. Requires 3 power to use. So... Assuming I had not used the power right now to hack this, I could have just broken that firewall in one turn with the uh, wrench. Hindsight 2020 though, right? We can't really do it with these over here. It's got to be level 3 exactly. <clears throat> so, Decker, let's get you over here, and that's going to be it for us. We're out in the open, I'm aware, but it doesn't seem like there's any sort of patrol. Oh, oh now there is, but before there wasn't. Alrighty, International, let's have you grab... Whatever the fuck's in here. 320 credits, I'll take it. And we also have a buster ship as well. Requires level 2 anarchy. Uses to manually break through two firewalls. Huh. Okay. And now we bring her... Well, not yet. Decker, let's have you take the peek. <clears throat> Remember, we saw... Or we heard some noise at least coming through this room. So you gotta imagine that this red aura right here has gotta be a guard. For a fact. Now, is this guard, does he have any sort of uh, equipment that keeps him from knocking him out? Well, that's the problem. I don't know. If he does, then I'm kind of fucked if I alert him. But if he doesn't have any sort of armor on him, we could just knock him out. So, I'm not going to trigger him just yet. Instead, I'm going to send International down over here. We could hack this over here and grab another hopeful credits, but I want to leave some power left over in case this camera comes online. So, for now, I'm thinking what we do is we just post up... Over here, out in the open. Turret grid. This turret is linked to a power grid, Hagrid Incognita. What do you do? Do you, like, fucking shoot things? I would imagine you probably do. I mean, that's what the... That's what turrets normally do. Level 2, huh? I gotta save some power for the potential... Yeah, for the potential camera here. Sorry, I was just taking a look at what's happening there. Um, so, for now, no. I'm wary about keeping her right there, but I don't think there's somebody's going to come in through this door. It would have happened already, too. <clears throat> right. And cameras are going online. Which ones are going online? It seems like... Well, none that I can really see right now. <clears throat> this one isn't going online, which is the one that I was worried about. Or is it? Oh, it totally is. It totally fucking is. Good thing I saved that power after all. So let me grab the power from here. We'll grab five extra power. We're up to ten now. And more importantly, it lets me... Well, actually, you know what? I don't think I have to hack this camera just yet, because we're about to probably start leaving from this room pretty soon. I still don't know what's in here, and it troubles me a lot. So, I mean, fuck, we have to go for it. We have to open this door at this point. Did you see that? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, both of them are going to be coming to check this out right now. <clears throat> Which is no good. Here's why it's no good, because I can knock one of them out for sure, but I don't think I can knock the second one out. Or actually, I could. I think I could. I would have to hide International right now, though. Which is fine, I could do that. So, International, you're going to have to come over here. Right. So, here's how this works out. He comes over here and he checks this out. Decker over here knocks him out. This guy follows suit. He's going to spot Decker. He's going to be alerted to Decker. And then we move into National over here next turn and we knock him out. Now, we have 10 power. This camera is coming online now, so maybe we should probably hack this camera now. Just to keep it on our safe side here. We have 6 power left over. I want to see what this turret does. I mean, fuck, man. If we could hack it and just kill somebody, I'm down to fucking do it. But I'll hold off for a second here. Um, so international, what you do is you just post up here inside. And yeah, I've already used that before. Alrighty, Decker. It's on you, my man. You have to ambush this guy when he comes through. So we really can do at this point. I really want to hack that, but I don't want to use up my power and not be ready to use it just yet. Because I'm not sure how long it's going to be hacked for. That's my other issue here. So I think we just end our turn now. Let's see if this works out like I planned it to. All right, so we got the knockout there. Good. Uh, right. Look. Right. Pretty much what I expected to happen. Everything's still fine. No worries. 
No worries at all. Now you come over here and you knock him out. He has armor, doesn't he? Ah. Oh. Would have been an ideal situation to um, shoot him with this turret, I have to imagine. Can I still do that? Or are we going to have to use my first rewind? Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Alrighty, let's, um... Let's see if the turret actually helps me out here. Ah, uh, doesn't seem like it is. Turret, what do you do? Okay. Do I need to hack this as well? I don't have enough power for it. Because I need to hack the database because I can't get through this right now. Or can I? Apparently I can. Agent's AP increased by a... Uh, uh, what? Um, well, I mean... Sure, it sounds amazing and everything, but... Power on. Alright, so the turret should be online now, right? Agent tracked. Well, that's that guy right here. Turret? No, I can't use the turret. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So, uh, I'm essentially boned here. I, I can't do much against this guy. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um... I have the cloaking device. I mean, there's still that available. All right, international. Here's what we do: we come over here and we hide here for a second. Decker. Damn it! They got away. Cloak. <laughs> um, we can't run through them. That's the only downside here. But at least for now, we'll keep alive for one more fucking day here. So what I'm thinking we do is we probably come over here and hide, or we come back over here and hide. The thing is that it worries me. It's like, I don't know how to get through this guy now. That's my only concern here. Let me go ahead and steal the valuables on this guy really quickly before we move on. We have the level 1 security card. I'll take that. And with Decker, what I'm thinking we do is we probably come over here. Would that be safe or should I just come all the way back here? I'm going to come all the way back here and just be extra safe. Let's not really risk it right now. Okay. I wonder if, if this guy actually goes over here to patrol. Maybe with International, I could just slip behind him. It's risky, I'm aware, but do I have any better options right now? I really don't. Okay, turret's on. So let's end our turn now. Increases agent's AP by three. Man, that's pretty good. Let's end our turn. Really, I can't do much right now. So he's investigating as I expected. Investigating. All right. Not out of the woods yet, but... We still have two more turns with the extra AP. Now, Decker, you're going to be serving right now as my peeking unit. I want to see what's happening over here. Okay. Now, the only problem here is that I would be able to sneak by this guy with international, but this piece of shit is now guarding this area. I could have her use her cloaking as well, but I'd rather not use it unless I really have to. What I want to do is knock this piece of shit out. The way I could do that is with Decker. Now, my only concern here is... This is being noticed, probably by a homeboy over there. Okay. Maybe we should cloak with Incognita then. Yeah. Alrighty, we're cloaked with her now. And we... we move. Luckily she has a lot of AP because of the um, algorithm thing that we got here. Now, we get to make a choice here. Which door is the one that's going to lead us to where we're fucking headed to? And speaking of which, I just realized that the person who has the vault access card is actually Decker, not Incognita, so, or International, so we're going to be a little bit fucked here. Okay, um, let me peek. That's where we're probably headed to right now. That's got to be where we're headed to. Um, but, as you can see, this doesn't let us pass through. We probably have to hack that. Level 3, which is good because we could actually use the um, wrench over here for that. So, what we do here is come down this way. Open this door. Oh. What was that? Oop. Investigating. Oop, oop, oop. 
Oh, things are just getting out of fucking hand right now. Things are just getting so out of hand. Do we close this door or... Do you know how much time and money has gone into that agent's training? I won't have you wasting company resources that way. Get them back to the jet. I, I was I was cloaked. You don't understand. I thought that I could cloak through. I wasn't aware that the camera had fucking heat sensors on it. Okay. First rewind. Ah, ha, ha. Well, alrighty. We are down here, back where it all started, apparently. This is where all started going wrong. Okay. We're going to call it an episode here. I need to kind of take a look at this and figure out how we're going to fucking get through this because I'm a little bit confused right now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. This one's going to be tough. I'll catch you guys next time.